Hi, everybody. I'm Pastor Larry Huck, and welcome to today's broadcast. Now, we're going to continue on with the Bible prophecy of Obadiah and what that prophecy says to all the world, but especially to us who are in America or if you're in England or Australia or Canada or whatever, in what the world calls a Western nation. It's a prophecy that when you see it, you will realize this prophecy is happening right now as you and I are meeting. Let me tell you, if you're not standing with Israel, let God open your eyes. If you are standing with Israel, get ready. Your best is yet to come. Is it up to God? No, it's up to you and I. But for you and I, we stand for the kingdom of God and the nation of Israel. This is the last days. Get ready for the open windows of heaven. Your best really is yet to come. I'll be right back. Everybody, we're Pastors Larry and Tiz Huck. We want to welcome you to our YouTube channel and invite you to subscribe and be a member of all the resources that we make available to you. We're going to talk about Bible prophecy again. We're going to talk especially about every Western nation, every Christian nation but especially America, of what the Bible, the prophecy of Obadiah is saying. Now, let me run through the first part of it real quick in case you didn't catch the last couple weeks of teaching. Obadiah is talking about what's happening in the world, what's happening in Israel that really was launched in October 7th. Let me read the first verse. The vision of Obadiah Thus says the Lord God concerning Edom. Now, once again, Edom is a nation that doesn't exist anymore. And we can, we can show you the path that's gone down. But Edom is Western nations. It's spiritual descendants of Rome. So Edom is England, Australia, America, Canada, uh, all through Europe, Western civilized nations. That's Edom. That's who the prophet Obadiah is talking to. He says, a messenger is be sent amongst your nation saying, arise and let us rise up against her in war. Her in, in Hebrew, her is in Israel. Na messengers have come into our countries, come into America, Australia. We saw this after October 7th. We saw in America, we saw college students getting up and bowing down to uh, Allah and, and praising uh, Hamas and praising Gaza. We saw this in Australia and England. And here the warning is that messengers have come in. How did the messengers come in? Uh, let's just pick on America. America's allowed these, these teachers to come in and teach false teaching concerning the nation of Israel that's not only, not only saying uh, death to Israel, and death to Israel is a new anti-Semitism. You know, for the last few years, we would never say people would rise up and be anti-Semitic. They would say death to Israel because death to Israel is a new anti-Semitism. But now, since October 7th, in our universities and in our governments and in our cities, in our states, we're seeing people rise up and be blatant anti-Semitic. But remember, when they're saying death to the Jews, they're also saying death to the Christians. When we're done with the children of Saturday, we're, we're coming after the children of Sunday. This is exactly what Hitler said. It's the spirit of Amalek. It's the same demonic spirit. But let me go down to verse four. 
Though you exalt yourself high as an eagle, and though you set your, your nest among the stars, from there I will bring you down. So here Obadiah is not just talking about all the Western nations. He's talking about the leader, the one that's higher above any other nation, and that's America. And what's our symbol? The eagle and the stars. He says, if thieves had come to you, if robbers by night, Oh, how will they be cut off? How long, and, and to say it in Hebrew real quick, how long will you be silent about what they're doing? We look at, let, let's look at women organizations who rightfully shout out and stand up against brutality against women. And yet from the UN to America to around the world, Who's saying anything about all these women and young girls that were murdered and butchered and raped on October 7th? And he listen to what it says in Hebrew. Did thieves come upon you? Did plunderers of the night? How long were you silent? Will they not steal till they have had enough? And we're going to talk a little bit about open borders how these messengers have come in, not just to the government, not just to the universities, but we have allowed open borders and we're allowing these messengers of hatred to Israel and hatred to America come in to our open borders. Now, when we come back, I'm gonna talk about something I learned just a couple months ago when I went and walked for the nation of Israel, for America, and with Rabbi Chief, uh, Chief Rabbi of Israel, Rabbi Lau, in Poland. We walked from Auschwitz to Birkenau, remembering the six million Jews that were murdered by the messengers who hate the nation of Israel. But remember, these same messengers who hate Israel, who hate Jews, they also hate Christians, and they also hate America. But I learned something in Poland that will change your life forever. So what is God saying? He's saying we need leaders in the pulpit. We need leaders in the government. We need leaders throughout the world that will stand up for the nation of Israel. Now, Right after October 7th, I think it was in January, I was at Capitol Hill again, and I met with Congressman Lamborn. And I want you to listen to what this great American, great Christian, and great lover of democracy in Israel has to say. Pay attention. It'll change your life. I want to thank you for having us in. Yes, I know you're yes, so busy. Yes. Uh, things are buzzing here at the Capitol Hill. One of the things, and I know you agree, I know you've been a, firm, a, a long-standing uh, supporter of Israel, is um, Israel's right, even beyond right, Israel's obligation to defend themselves mm -hmm. and to remove this terrorist organization mm -hmm. so it never mm -hmm. happens again. Tell us your feelings on on standing with the nation of Israel right yeah. now. Well, Pastor, thank you for the great work you and your whole team does. Well, pleasure. Uh, you're a leader in many ways, but on the issue of the U.S. supporting Israel, you are right there on the front lines, and I really appreciate that. Thank you, sir. And my mission in Congress, uh, my oath to defend my country and my uh, constituents, but also I have a mission to make sure that the U.S. stays a strong supporter of Israel. I believe that when the scriptures talk about, uh, like in Genesis 12, 3, when God said to Abraham, those who support you and bless you, I will bless. Right. Those who curse you, I will curse. Yep. I think that that is true still today. It's true and it's true today. So we as a country um, have been supportive of Israel. We were the first country to recognize Israel 11 minutes after it became yes. a nation. Yep. That was really to President Truman's yes. credit, and it's in an indication of how and why the U.S. has been blessed in many ways as a country because of that support we give Israel, and we need to continue doing and, that. And say that again because I, I, I think people, 
need to hear that over and over again. And it's so powerful the way you say it, that America is blessed. Yeah, America is blessed because we bless Israel. Absolutely. The descendants of Abraham. I believe that um, the Jews and the Israelis are the chosen people and Israel is the promised land. Yeah. Uh, if, if you believe the Bible, yeah. and, and I certainly do, yeah. uh, that, is, that doesn't mean we ignore the other peoples of the area and make sure that their human rights are protected. Absolutely. And, and um, they're not governed by terrorists. Right. For instance, uh, the poor uh, people of Gaza, uh, because they have a horrible governance in their area, unfortunately. Right. But whatever happens there, we have to continue supporting Israel. I don't think a lot of Americans understand when we, when we hear, when we see these demonstrations, Congressman, whether it's America or England or Australia, uh, against the Jewish people, and we hear the, the slogan, from the river to the sea. Mm -hmm. This is not about a two-state solution. From the river to the sea means no Israel exists. How, how do we face this up here on Capitol Hill? Those of us who believe in the U.S.-Israel relationship need to be outspoken about the necessity for that Thank and you. why it's so important. Why Israel, as, a, as the only democracy in the Middle East, deserves our support for so many reasons. Uh, I've mentioned some scriptural reasons, but there's also uh, humanitarian and political and economic and cultural reasons right. why we should be supporting Israel. Right. And we just need to be very outspoken about that. Um, I do think that the opposition is in the minority. They're outspoken and vocal, but... They're certainly, certainly in Congress. They're, yeah. they're extremely in, much in the minority. And, you know, that's so great to hear you say that because when I went over there to Israel, they were, they were just so overwhelmingly appreciative mm -hmm. that we, I would come over there and say, we're standing with Israel because all they're seeing is CNN and MSNBC mm -hmm. and there's these... And I said... Uh, exactly what you said, and I so appreciate how you said that, mm -hmm. is they're the loud minority. Mm -hmm. But what we need to be as, as Christians, as politicians, as leaders, whatever, is we need to become the loud majority and let yes. the world know yes. and let every politician know. And that's one of the things that we, we, we believe in speaking about politics from the pulpit is supporting great, great men like yourself mm -hmm. who stand for our nation and stand for the nation of Israel. The, fa the father of all blessings in the Bible, as you said, was Genesis 12.3. Mm -hmm. I will bless those. And that's whether it's a person or whether it's a, uh, a city or whether it's a country. Yes. yes. Almighty God said, I will bless those who bless Israel, mm -hmm. but I will also curse those who curse Israel. The war against Israel is escalating on many fronts. We are being shown the true face of terror and their fanatic determination to crush the Jewish people. God is calling every Christian, every church, and every politician to respond by taking a stand for Israel and for our Judeo-Christian values. Your offering today will make a practical and tangible difference. It will go directly toward purchasing our 12th mobile ICU ambulance for the people of Israel. This amazing unit is literally a hospital on wheels, providing life-saving emergency care to over 10,000 citizens in its lifetime of service. To show our appreciation, we have two special thank you gifts for you. To start, just for calling to express your support for Israel, America, and our biblical values, we'll send you this inspiring 40-day devotional, If My People. It contains 40 days of prayers and scriptures based on 2 Chronicles 7, 14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. This is the perfect resource for you, your church prayer group, and even your entire congregation as we approach the upcoming election season. Then, for those who are able to make a donation to our Israel Ambulance Project, we will also add Pastor Larry's bold, powerful sermon series, Make America Godly Again. 
These anointed teachings will reveal the spiritual powers and principalities behind the lawlessness and immorality exploding in the world right now. It will give you the motivation to intercede for God to send us a great spiritual awakening and also inspire you to take a more active role in keeping America one nation under God. Whether you can sow $25, $250, or even $2,500 or more, we assure you it will go immediately to bless Israel and toward saving Jewish lives. So please take a few moments right now to call our toll-free number at 800-978-8546 and sow the very best offering you can. You can also donate through our secure website at LarryHuck.tv. Or, if you prefer, you can mail your offering to the address on the screen. And now you can even donate by texting the word Israel, along with your gift amount, to 28950. But the fastest way to bless Israel is to contact us today at 800-978-8546. There's no doubt Israel needs our help right now. We're calling on every Christian to stand with Israel and to donate toward our ambulance project. There's no better seed to sow than when it goes toward blessing Israel and saving Jewish lives. So please let us hear from you today. We appreciate your generous support and sincerely thank you for joining with us in prayer for our nation and for the nation of Israel. From all of us at Magen David Adom and from all the people of Israel, Todaraba, thank you. We had a call of a four-year-old girl with a very big mass on her chest. She needed ventilation, mechanical ventilation. You know, it's the bag that you push to push air inside the, lung, the lungs. Out of the blue, I had the security officer of the checkpoint coming to me and telling me, okay, look, on a very short time, we will be attacked. So I told him, okay, I'm not able to move my patient because she's not breathing on her own. I need to ventilate her. So I told my driver to go to the shelter and I stayed in the ambulance. I put a bulletproof vest and I put a bulletproof vest on the chest of my patient and I continued uh, ventilating her. The motor was just exploding all around the ambulance. I'm a human being. I'm afraid for my life. I have a daughter to get back to at home. I think that every normal human being would take his legs and run away. I'm not able to run away. If I run away, people die. Fortunately, I'm still alive. She's also. We're okay. Uh, we were not touched by any shrapnels, so we were lucky. I usually succeed in making the separation between being a mom and being a paramedic, but at the end, I'm a paramedic who is a mom. I feel that being, even being a mom makes me a better paramedic. You know, it's obvious that we need to pray for Israel. It's not obviously obvious that we need to stand up and be loud for Israel and not let these, these loud minorities who are calling for uh, the death of Israel from the river to, from the river to the sea is not about a two-state solution. From the river to the sea is about no Israel. It's once again a Nazi slogan that means not a two-state solution, but a final solution. But you need to understand also that in Obadiah, he warns us who will not speak up for Israel, but he blesses us who will speak up for Israel. And that's the reason why we're buying another, at least one more. And if we get the donations in, we'll buy two. These mobile ICU units, we've bought, I think this is number 12 that we bought, and I think we've bought three for the military that actually are, are in the battle right now with Hamas and we know Hezbollah's to the north is happening and each one of these saved 10,000 lives each one so at 12 that's 120,000 lives not not counting the ones who j they just transport but saves 120,000 lives in the nation of Israel. And, and you, know, you know that Tiz isn't here. She's in treatment, but she's doing wonderful. Thank you beyond words for your prayers and your support. Keep praying. We're not done yet, but we're almost there. But 
a few weeks ago, they gave her days to live and she's doing wonderful. And that's because the blessing in Genesis 12, 3. And you know, I, I was telling the guys in between break, I said, we use the word miracles uh, too easy. Tis is a miracle. The doctor said, you're a miracle. They said, lion's a miracle. Your grandson is a miracle. God has a miracle for you as you be a miracle for the nation of Israel. I want to keep going on this. Okay, so we're talking about uh, Edom. We're talking about the judgment of God. We're talking about how long will you be silent. But listen to this. When I was over in Poland for the March of the Living, marching with thousands and thousands of Jewish people, um, we, we took our, I took a small group, a delegation there, and we were doing a tour of the ancient uh, Jewish ghetto where they locked the Jews up before they took them to Auschwitz, before they took them to death camps. And something interesting, Hitler had a strategy. Now remember, Obadiah is warning America, warning every Western nation, if you're silent, if you're silent, I will judge you as if you're one who is doing that. I learned something from our Israeli guide. When Hitler first started persecuting the Jewish people, um, made him put a star, a yellow star. He wanted to see if America or the Western nations would say anything. Nobody said anything. And then he did crystal knock. He, he, he boycotted um, Jewish businesses and, and broke the glass of Jewish businesses. This is the same thing as BDS against Israel, boycott, sanction, and divestment. And he wanted to see, okay, if we go a step further, will America, will Western states say anything? Nobody say anything. So he said, okay, let's put them in the ghetto and see if they say anything. Nobody said anything. And he said, okay, they're not saying anything. Let's start murdering them. They started murdering them in the ghettos. Nobody said anything. Then they said, okay, let's, let's build the death camps and started murdering them in mass. Nobody said anything. Here's Obadiah talking, guys about where we are on October 7th. And we have a Biden administration that is not only not saying anything, but if you would, are partnering with Iran. Iran is feeding Hamas and Hezbollah at least 95, 98% of the funds. When President Trump was in office, he put sanctions on Iran, a terrorist, a terrorist a uh, uh, supplier that is not only saying death to Israel, that Israel is the little Satan, death to America, America is the great Satan. And if we don't speak up and say something, and we need to say it every day, but we need to say it on no, no, in November when we vote, Trump put sanctions on Iran that, that crippled the leadership, the demonic leadership of Iran. The Ayatollah was all but gone. And then when Trump didn't get reelected, Biden got in there and not only lifted the sanctions, but sent $6 billion minimum. Now, with all that, the oil and stuff, it's, a, I think Senator Cruz, and forgive me if I'm saying this wrong, it adds up to a couple hundred billion dollars. So here we are, with an administration that is funding a country that is funding the terrorist organizations that not only want to destroy Israel, they want to destroy us. But for you and I who stand up now and stand up in November and say we will not support any religious leaders, any political leaders, any business leaders, that are standing up for the terrorist organizations of Hamas and Hezbollah. God says, get ready, because we begin, I believe this a thousand percent, we begin the end time transfer of wealth and we begin the latter reign. We are right now in the birthing of Bible prophecy. When you bless Israel, stand up and be loud and strong. Watch the open windows of heaven be released over every area of your life, just like we've seen in Tiz and Lion. Stay with me. I want to pray for the miracle power of God to bless you because you are a blessing to the nation of Israel. I'll be right back.
The war against Israel is escalating on many fronts. We are being shown the true face of terror and their fanatic determination to crush the Jewish people. God is calling every Christian, every church, and every politician to respond by taking a stand for Israel and for our Judeo-Christian values. Your offering today will make a practical and tangible difference. It will go directly toward purchasing our 12th mobile ICU ambulance for the people of Israel. This amazing unit is literally a hospital on wheels, providing life-saving emergency care to over 10,000 citizens in its lifetime of service. To show our appreciation, we have two special thank you gifts for you. To start, just for calling to express your support for Israel, America, and our biblical values, we'll send you this inspiring 40-day devotional, If My People. It contains 40 days of prayers and scriptures based on 2 Chronicles 7, 14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. This is the perfect resource for you, your church prayer group, and even your entire congregation as we approach the upcoming election season. Then, for those who are able to make a donation to our Israel Ambulance Project, we will also add Pastor Larry's bold, powerful sermon series, Make America Godly Again. These anointed teachings will reveal the spiritual powers and principalities behind the lawlessness and immorality exploding in the world right now. It will give you the motivation to intercede for God to send us a great spiritual awakening and also inspire you to take a more active role in keeping America one nation under God. Whether you can sow $25, $250, or even $2,500 or more, we assure you it will go immediately to bless Israel and toward saving Jewish lives. So please take a few moments right now to call our toll-free number at 800-978-8546 and sow the very best offering you can. You can also donate through our secure website at LarryHuck.tv or if you prefer, you can mail your offering to the address on the screen. And now you can even donate by texting the word Israel along with your gift amount to 28950. But the fastest way to bless Israel is to contact us today at 800-978-8546. There's no doubt Israel needs our help right now. We're calling on every Christian to stand with Israel and to donate toward our ambulance project. There's no better seed to sow than when it goes toward blessing Israel and saving Jewish lives. So please let us hear from you today. We appreciate your generous support and sincerely thank you for joining with us in prayer for our nation and for the nation of Israel. From all of us at Magen David Adom and from all the people of Israel, thank you. You know, I can't thank you enough for praying for Tiz, praying for our family during this time. And I, I, I say this all the time, it's a miracle. Even the doctor said, it's a miracle. I'll share tomorrow. They said, what is it about your family? What's the difference? The difference is we love the Lord and we love Israel. And the difference is you. You make all the difference in the world. And so whether it's something physical, financial, family, I release that same miracle anointing that touched his. We were days from losing her. And now our best is yet to come. Father, I release that miracle on every one of our partners and our friends around the world. God bless you for standing with Tiz and I, and God bless you for standing on the Word of God and the nation of Israel. I'm Pastor Larry. I love you beyond words. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.